Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I'm in the middle of a move. I'm actually moving to a much bigger warehouse studio space than I was in before. But in this video, what we're gonna show you or what I'm gonna show you is how you can remove either seal and shine or a coating or a form of protection off your car. Reasons why you may wanna do this in the first place is you're not happy with how the performance of that product. Uh, maybe you got some light micro marring or swirls in the paint or you just simply wanna try something else out and you wanna clean fresh canvas, sometimes like I do once a year. So we're using Seal and Shine as the protection because it's the most durable one I've tested. And so if you can remove Seal and Shine this way, you can pretty much remove anything else this way. And so I'm gonna show you how you can do it by hand or by machine and the steps that you can take to make that a little bit smoother of a process before uh, or to ensure actually that you're removing that. So all that and more coming up in this video. All right, so I have a piece of tape down the middle because I'm gonna show you how you could remove it with either a machine or by hand, but I just really wanna show you that there's actually seal and shine on the panel. And it's a fresh coat of seal and shine, so nothing, it hasn't been, uh, it hasn't degraded at all. And basically you want, you wanna try to break down the coating as much as you can. Um, you really don't really want a fresh layer of it to work with because then that's going to be when it's most durable. So you really want, really want it to be degraded a little bit. So that's the first steps we're going to work on. So there's, especially with seal and shine, and if you're using a ceramic coating, there's really no point in starting with an iron remover. So we're just gonna, this is just straight tsunami. And again, we're gonna work towards breaking down seal and shine or the ceramic coating. This step is definitely optional. What this is gonna recreate is if you were to use a higher pH soap. So that's what I would do. You can use Tsunami. You want to be careful if you're using it in direct sun, but I mean, you could see by the bottle how much it foams. So if you put this in a foam cannon, it's definitely going to foam all over your car and you could use it as your wash soap. Again, we're talking about stripping stuff. We're not talking about preserving anything. So you could use it, uh, if you're going to use it in a foam cannon, I probably wouldn't use it straight. And you want to be careful in direct sun but again, we're, we're breaking down the layers of the coating, or in this case, seal and shine. All right. So hopefully we degraded it a little bit. It's only one layer of tsunami, but we'll see what happens. And nothing. So I, this is, if you have a ceramic coating or you have seal and shine, this is what's going to happen. So what we'll do is I'll blow this off and we'll do another layer. So you may do a double wash. And here's the thing. What I'm going to show you to do is to compound it off or to use abrasion to get rid of it. But since you have to, chances are I could sense some people saying, well, why don't you just go straight to compounding? Well, your chances are you're going to have to wash the car. So if you're going to have to wash the car anyway, you might as well wash it with a higher pH soap or an APC and help you break it down a little bit first before to make your compounding or your abrasion step a little bit easier. So that's what I'm trying to do and trying to show. See if that degraded it anymore. Not really. You could kind of see my old tape lines in there. But not really. Didn't really degrade it at all. So we will blow this off. I'll dry it off and then I'll bring it inside and we'll show you the difference between a machine polish and a hand polish to actually remove it. And then we'll bring it back outside and I'll show you how it's completely broken down. It's 
for me. All right, so for uh, the mechanical abrasion, I'm going to be using the Griots G9. Uh, and then I'm going to use a product that I've never talked about, um, and that is the Turtle Wax Ice Speed Compound. Um, it's, this is a runnier compound. It doesn't really dust. It's actually really never talked about, but it's super, super effective at removing um, sealant shine and actually all other sealants. This is what I usually use to prep my panel. Um, and so, uh, yeah, but you could use uh, M100, M110, uh, all different kinds. And I'm using an Americana Global, uh, I would call it like a medium hard pad. Um, and so, as you can see, it's a little bit runnier. And you're just gonna use it. You're not gonna have to worry about doing, you know, you're not doing a paint correction. You're just abrading the surface to, not the best idea to do this on a cart with wheels. But you're just gonna go over the whole surface. And you don't have to worry about getting perfectly even passes and doing it, you know, making it a piece of art. You're literally letting the abrasives in the compound do the work. So the, the problem or one thing that, not necessarily a problem, but one thing that you may run into using a more aggressive compound is that you may need to follow up with a polish cycle if you're doing that. Maybe not, because again, if you're getting, you're trying to remove what's on top of the surface, not correct the surface itself. So you'll notice I didn't use like a heavy, uh, I wasn't applying a ton of pressure. I wasn't using super slow arm speed and I did that on purpose because you're not trying to mar, you're not trying to mess up the bare paint. You're simply trying to remove that protection on top of the surface. So that's it for the machine applied. You can see not a ton of effort was, uh, you know, put into that at all. You're just trying to remove and abrade the surface and it, it has to be an abrasion, not a chemical reaction, at least for seal and shine and more, most coatings. So we'll jump over to the other side. I'll show you how you could do it by hand if you don't have a DA machine. Okay. So if you're going to use it by hand, you're, you can use the ice speed compound as well. Again, any other compound. Um, but I found this one kind of has that perfect balance of not marring the surface, but still being able to remove uh, the protection on the surface. Obviously an applicator, a few squeezes on the applicator, and you're going to do it. And you're again, not using a ton of pressure, not trying to correct the panel, just trying to get the protection off the surface of the panel. And again, if you use a chemical first or a higher pH soap, this is going to help with uh, making this step easier. But this is just what's needed. So you can do circular motions, you could do back and forth motions. You can do it with your arm behind your back, whatever you want to do doesn't really matter. By hand, obviously, you're gonna run the risk a lot less of getting marring as a machine, but you can see how much more arm movement is actually needed to do it. Once you get it good and you let it kind of haze up, you're good to remove the residue. Just wipe off the residue. And that's one thing I like about this ice speed compound is it's not gonna dye any of the trim white. It's not gonna leave any residue and it comes off really quickly. So this is how I prep the panel. And there you go. Another thing that I do as well after I've compounded it is I'll use an IPA you can use any brand you want. I just kind of make up my own concoction and I will use the IPA 
to kind of wipe down both sides of the panel just to ensure that I've removed all the residue, all the compound and polish residue, and that the surface is completely bare and free of anything at all. And then that surface is ready to add your new protection or whatever you may be doing to the surface. But at least you know now that it's free and clear of any coating, seal and shine, and you're good to go. So let's take it back outside and I'll show you how now the panel is completely flat. All right, so we're back outside. So we've compounded it, pol or not polished it, but we've compounded it and IPA wiped it. And so now, after we get a little bit of that IPA residue off, you'll see the panel flat. No more seal and shine, no more coating, completely flat. It's hot, so the water's sheeting off, but you can see it's nothing like it was. So either with machine or by hand, you're gonna get the same results. And that panel is prepped and ready for the next showdown. There you go. All right, so what do you think about that video? Have you tried in the past to remove a form of protection on your car, seal and shine, whatever, a coating. Have you ran into any issues? Have you tried this method? Let me know in the comments below. Have you ever tried the ice speed compound? Love to hear your thoughts, feelings, and emotions in the comments below. And don't forget on your way down there, hit that big red subscribe button so you get first alerted of videos just like this one. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.